Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Deans, and this is Evolutionary Psychiatry on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about vitamin D. So this is my first reader question video, and the question was wondering why I don't re recommend supplementing vitamin D to the high end of the normal range as many ancestral health doctors do. Uh, the short answer to this is that studies of, you know, thousands and thousands of people, I think the Women's Health Study, showed that the lowest mortality morbidity was of people with a vitamin D level of around 28. You know, vitamin D has all sorts of important activities in the body. It's thought to protect against viruses. You need vitamin D in order to um, make steroids and steroid hormones. Vitamin D also seems to have a cancer protective benefit. And all sorts of healthy states, people tend to have higher levels of vitamin D. So the more obese you are, the more likely to have you have to have low vitamin D. The more depressed you are, the more likely you are to have low vitamin D. Because there are many disease states that are higher in people born in the springtime, um, early spring, where mothers are going to have the lowest amount of vitamin D. There are even studies linking low levels of vitamin D in neonatal blood spot from 20 years ago and kids who develop schizophrenia 20 years later. So that's all kind of interesting stuff. However, the kicker is that most large-scale studies of supplementing vitamin D hasn't shown them to be helpful. So there's a study where they gave depressed people 100,000 units of vitamin D. It didn't seem to help their depression at all. All right, so what do I make of that information? Uh, basically that vitamin D is low in a lot of disease states, but that supplementing with vitamin D doesn't seem to help those disease states. My thought is that vitamin D is a reverse acute phase reactant. An acute phase reactant is simply a marker of inflammation, and it seems like vitamin D drops when you are sick, any major variety of being sick. So it seems to me there may be a reason that your vitamin D is dropping. Are you using it more? Is having a vitamin D that is high somehow not of use to you or if you are in a diseased state? And I don't think we know the answer to that question. And so if that's the case, maybe supplementing with vast amounts of vitamin D isn't the smartest thing to do. I tend to feel that people should be in a normal range, but the low end of the normal range is probably fine. Also, a, a couple other reasons I like the low end of the normal range. I know people who have supplemented to the high end of the normal range, they need to take vast amounts of vitamin D to get up there. And that seems strange. You know, you can take a modest amount of vitamin D, 2,000 to 5,000 a day if you're low, and eventually most people, uh, there are different ways in which they react to supplementation, but most people will climb to a nice reasonable amount over time. You start to really have to pile on the vitamin D to get people much above 40 or 45 in a level. And that seems to me like maybe we shouldn't be, maybe your body's kind of fighting against that for a reason, again, that we don't know. However, I have had patients come in with extremely low levels of vitamin D. On more than one occasion, they look hypothyroid to me. They look very pale kind of puffy and kind of sick. And I think, oh my God, they come in with depression, but I think they're hypothyroid. I'm finally, I'm gonna catch a hypothyroid. And no, their thyroid's fine, but they, their vitamin D is literally less than five. Those folks do seem to brighten up and seem to be better if they supplement vitamin D. They need quite a bit of it. So that's kind of the exception, the very, very, very low vitamin D levels that everyone would agree is a problem. You can't make bone at those levels of vitamin D. It's very low. I'm in the Northeast. We have 30% of my population is relatively low in vitamin D. So it's one place where it probably makes sense to screen patients, especially if they have disease states, and to supplement, particularly if people are below 20. And I do try to aim for a level of around you know, 30 to 45. I know that vitamin D council recommends as high as 60 to 80. And I am not a vitamin D researcher, so who am I to question their recommendations? But you asked the question, and those are my thoughts on vitamin D. We need to supplement with cola calciferol, which is vitamin D3. And there are capsules available. 2000 IU is often a reasonable amount if you're in the Northeast, particularly in the winter time. Some people need 5,000. If you're very low, it's recommended you supplement faster with 50,000 IU once a week for four to eight weeks and then retest. All right, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. 
If you have a question, drop me a comment and I'll try to address it in future videos. Otherwise, I'm Dr. Emily Deans and this is Evolutionary Psychiatry on YouTube.